Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing a digital video projector and you guys are currently watching Career Elite. Today's episode, we're reviewing the Apeman LC 550 Digital Projector. I actually reviewed the Apeman LC 350 Digital Projector this past summer, and let me just say, Apeman has a nice, nice projectors, and we're gonna basically test this one out and see if this one can maybe um, stand up to the LC 350, and then we can also see if this one is even better than the LC 350. But before we get started with actually reviewing this projector, Make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new to our YouTube channel. If you guys do like this video, make sure you guys go down below and leave a like. That just informs me and lets me know if you guys are enjoying these tech reviews and gadgets episode. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys go down below and voice out any opinions and comments you may have. I reply to all my comments and also respond to any questions that you guys may have. If you're a business owner or a company owner interested in working with us, our business increase email is crewelyt at l.com. You guys can send me a message and we can potentially work together in a future product review. If you guys want to stay connected with us, please go down in the description and follow us on our various social media platforms. That is where you guys can have a quicker reach and access to me if you guys have any questions or concerns or if you guys just want to see updates in our life. But now let's actually shift our attention over to the 8 Man LC 550 Digital Projector. Now let's move on to the unboxing portion and full slip portion of this video. As you guys can see from the box on this camera angle, this Apeman LC 550 digital projector has a similar box to the Apeman LC 350 digital projector. Um, you guys can see there's a picture of the projector on the top and then there's a few specifications around the box which we're going to take a closer look at with the secondary angle camera. You guys can see on the front side, it says LC 550 video projector, and you guys can actually see a picture of the projector in the middle, and then it says excellent 1280 by 720 native resolution, but this projector does support 1080p. On this side of the box, you guys can actually see some key features. You guys can actually take a pause and read the key features if you want to learn more information about the projector. All right, so let's actually now get started with actually unboxing this projector. So let's actually start off with opening up the flap and kind of pulling this back a little bit. And now what we gotta do is pull out the projector. Here are all the contents inside the box. This is everything that's included inside the projector's box. So let's take a look at the projector first and then we'll take a look at the accessories that are included. Let me lift up this styrofoam, pull this out, take the projector outside of its bag. But you guys can see the projector looks pretty nice from, you know, my first impression of it. Um, you guys can see it's a lot, it's very compact. Um, it has a similar uh, resemblance to the LC350 uh, digital projector. Um, but it is a lot more compact, I'm pretty sure it can peel to the LC350 uh, digital projector. Um, but, you know, I like the design of it, but we're going to take a closer look at it later on. Next, we're going to open up our gray box. So let's see what's inside this box. And you guys can see this should house all of our accessories. So right here we have our remote control. Next up, we have our AV plug for music. Our power cable right here. The HDMI cable. And last but not least, we have our user manual for this projector. On the secondary camera, you guys can see everything is laid out that's from the box. Um, we have our user manual right here, or a remote control to actually control the projector. You guys can see there was a lot of buttons and uh, a lot of customization you can do with the remote control. We have our HDMI cable that came included with the packaging, our PAL cable to give PAL to the projector, and then we have our AV plug that you know supports audio, you know from various different sources of audio, 
um, that you guys can use to actually connect to this projector. Let's move everything to the side and actually take a closer look at the projector itself right now. So you guys can see, like I was saying Olio, this projector looks really compact. Um, it's actually, it look, to me, it looks like it's made out of plastic mainly, but that shouldn't be an issue. The weight's pretty good on the projector, you know, not too heavy, but not too light, which is good. Um, you guys can see they included some cooling fans on the side on this side, and then some cooling fans on the uh, this side right here. Um, the pl uh, plug-in is actually on this side of the projector. In fact, let me just show you guys all this stuff on the front of the camera, on the secondary camera. Um, you guys can see this is our lens right here. It has a pretty decent lens, you know, it has a lens cover right here. You can take it off and, you know, it, it looks pretty good. And then on this side, this is where all our ports come in. We have our aux input right here, our AV input right here, micro SD, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and USB port right here. Um, th this projector actually has two different HDMI ports, so you can actually have many devices connected to this projector at all times. On the back side, there's not really much to the back side. There is a footnote kind of rest on here that you guys can actually twist and give the projector some lift off the ground if you want to, you know, kind of elevate your projector a little bit. And then on this side, we have our, our uh, power input uh, slot. This is where you, you know, plug in the power cable. And then on the back side, we have our VGA input and we have our infrared. And then on the top of the, the projector, we have our buttons, we have our focus knob, and then we have our keystone uh, adjustment knob. So you guys can actually adjust and, you know, make the projector focus more, and you can make it so it can kind of tilt a little bit, depending on the surface you're projecting onto. But you guys can see there's also buttons you can use to navigate with. So if you don't want to use the remote, or if you just, you know, want to have, uh, you know, quicker access to like changing or maybe wherever you're setting up, it just makes more sense to to use the buttons instead of the remote, you have that functionality. What we're gonna do now is actually move on to the product's testing and demonstration portion of the video. All right, so let's actually get on to testing out this projector. So we need to take this power cable right here and plug it into the side of the projector. Plug it into the power source and now take this end of the power cable and plug it into the side of the projector. All right, so we are ready to go. I put in batteries in the remote control, but now what we're gonna do is actually, I'm gonna move this chair off to the side and then face the projector onto the wall right here so we can actually test this projector out. I know you guys can't actually see me on the primary camera, but I do want to show you guys how you actually power on this projector. All you have to do is click on this power button right here on the top, as you guys can see on the secondary camera, and basically hold it down. And you guys can see that light just turned green. So this light now is green and this was, you know, red before. And now the projector is actually booting up, as you guys can see on the primary camera. But what I'm going to do now is actually face the projector and face it onto the wall in front of me. As you guys can see, I dimmed all the lights and the projector is actually being casted onto the wall in front of me. So on the secondary camera angle, you guys should be able to still see my hands as I mess with the projector. So what we're going to do now is actually take off the cover and see what this projector has to offer for us. Boom. So you guys can see we do need to do some adjustments, so let's fix the focus. That doesn't look that bad. Um, let's see, uh, let's just mess with the keystone a little bit now. You guys can see it can tilt the screen up and down. So that's really nice. Um, let's keep it about right here. I think that's good. The focus looks pretty good and you guys can see I have the remote in my hand on this secondary camera angle. So we can actually use the remote to navigate through, as you guys can see as I'm navigating through the menu, um, to, you know, use and access this projector. Um, I did state earlier that this projector does support 1080p. Um, it has a native resolution of 720p, but it does have support for 1080p. Now let's actually plug in this USB uh, flash drive into the projector. What I did was load this uh, flash drive with a bunch of random files, and we're going to use this to actually test 
without the project those USB uh, input functions. So now let's just let's start off with uh, looking at some pictures from the projecto. Um, let me just click on photos, um, C, and you guys can see I kind of just loaded it with a bunch of random things. So what I'm going to do is let's just uh, let's just see what this is. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's see. So you guys can see like this this is one product we reviewed in our past, the Treblab X5. You know the picture. Uh, quality looks really nice. It looks like it's actually doing a, a slideshow for us. So let's let me just click exit. But you guys can see the the quality of these pictures that are being projected look really nice. Um, let me turn off this light again. But you guys can see like all these are like tech products I reviewed in the past. And you guys can see the color really pops in the in the uh, projector. Okay, let's actually try some videos now. So let's actually go to the movie category. Um, let's go down and let's start off with actually uh, this video right here. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode. I mean, it doesn't look today. too bad. You guys can see, um, I can actually uh, decrease the body, uh, audio and increase the audio. Uh, let me turn on my light. So you guys can see on this camera, I can increase and decrease the audio. So I can turn down the, the volume of the projector and then also actually turn it up. So let's, uh, let's what we should do is actually turn up the projector and hear it at its highest volume. Sounds pretty good. In today's episode, we're reviewing a four channel microphone set from the company Phoenix Pro. And this is a wireless microphone set that has four different channels that you can attach handheld microphones onto and lav your microphones uh, onto. I mean, you can the, use this at parties, events, uh, weddings, The video wedding, quality is uh, uh, not events, bad. It's just some areas it looks like, you know, I need to do some focusing, but, you know, those are just, like, final adjustments. So, like, right now it looks better when I'm focusing on the, the secondary camera, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, let's exit out. Let's try another video real quick. This is another tech review. Let's just see how it looks. We're viewing some DJ Party LED disco balls with lasers. The audio quality doesn't sound too bad. Projector does have nicer speakers than the LC350. I do have to say. And if you guys do want me to make a comparison video of the LC350 uh, and the LC550 in the future, just let me know in the comment section and I'll do a comparison where I bring out both projectors and we do uh, a basically side by side test of the two. DJ lights. And what's special about this DJ light? But it doesn't it has a look too bad. The audio sounds pretty nice. I actually like the audio. And then, the, you know, you're able to actually plug in an aux cable in to actually output your audio onto an external device. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's actually just move on to music now and just listen, listen to the audio capabilities of some music. Um, let's, let's try Pacific Coast. Well, that's actually really cool. Does equalizer. But the audio sounds pretty nice. sound bad at all. We could test another song. Let's try it out with City Night Lights. Or a Coconut Line Rhythm. <laughs> Not bad. And you guys can see this is actually the menu of the projector. So I can go in and customize and change the projector to my desired uh, settings. Let me just turn on the music a little bit. Down so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, but you guys can see the projector doesn't do bad. You know, it's a budget, uh, budget friendly projector. You know, it's not the price isn't high. You know, so you know they they did a pretty good job considering that this is a budget projector. You know, um, we could 
I mean, honestly, I think we're pretty good with the music. But you guys can see, like, there's even a preview mode, so you can actually preview your uh, your files before you actually project them. So that's actually kind of cool, and it even tells you information about the song and everything, as you guys can see as I zoom in. Okay, let's get out of this real quick. Um, but yeah, let's actually move on to the finals reflections and remarks and then end off this video. So, what are my final opinions and remarks about this 8-man LC 550 digital projector? Let me actually turn this off for now. Um, I really do like this projector. I feel like this projector is um, really... Uh, an option for those who just want, you know, a small little compact projector that, you know, they can use, you know, in family gatherings, at parties, at events, just to kind of like, you know, expand up uh, the video or the movie that they're watching. Because, you know, TVs, you know, they're limited, you can't really expand it. But with this projector, I'm pretty sure the max height it can go to or the max length is like 200 feet or like 180 feet which is pretty impressive um but you, you guys can see how this is a fantastic product to actually consider buying i you know i went through a few tests and in my opinion i feel like this projector has a better uh speaker than the uh what is it called the lc350 projector and like i stated earlier if you guys do want me to make a comparison video between the two because i know a lot of you guys actually enjoyed the lc350 digital projector re uh, review just let me know i might even remake the lc350 digital projector review for you guys so you guys can have an updated version and much more higher quality version of that video i did not expect it you know to blow up the way it did uh, and i didn't know it was a hot product so it's nice to see that you guys used me to get insights and you know I've been answering all the comments, so if you guys have any questions like on this product, just let me know in the comment section down below, and I will get to your inquiry. But I really do like this projector. Um, it is really minimalistic. You know, there's so many inputs that you can use on this projector. You know, from two HDMI ports to uh, one USB port to uh, an AV port to an um, aux in port and to a uh, uh, what is it called? A uh, micro SD port. You know, there's a lot of customization and you know configuration that you can do with this projector there's also a VGA on the back I forgot to mention that and then you know with the remote control this becomes really more accessible to use and easier to use because now if, if, for instance if I hook this onto the wall we'll have it you know somewhere in a position where I can't really click on the buttons on the top the remote control is just nice to have and those two infrared sensors on the front and on the back so you can easily control this projector practically anywhere in the room and then the focus knob and the keystone knob, you know, you can, you know, fine tune your adjustments and make this projector really, really focus and actually look nice on the wall or wherever you're actually projecting to. Even with some of the lights on, because uh, earlier when I was testing out, I did have these um, uh, studio lights that I use in my tech reviews dimmed. I didn't actually turn them on off all the way and those you know, lights didn't seem to actually interfere uh, with the wall behind me and the projector was still able to really show out its true colors and actually perform pretty good regardless of having the lights on um, but I really do like this uh, projector this was uh, the 8 man LC um, 550 uh, digital projector it's actually a mini projector and it's like I'm pretty sure it's the step up from the LC 350 but like I keep on saying, if you guys really, really want me to make a comparison video between the LC350 and the LC550, just let me know. And if you guys want me to remake the LC350 video where I pinpoint some of the issues you guys have been having, just also let me know. I'm down to actually do that for you guys. And yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode. If you guys did enjoy this Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new to our YouTube channel and turn on post notifications, whichever side it is. I'm pretty sure it might be on this side to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload. If you guys have any uh, questions or concerns like I stated earlier, just go down below in the comment section and leave a comment. I reply to all my comments and respond back. So if you guys have any uh, inquiries, just let me know. Know. Um, if you guys um, 
want to leave a like um that would be really appreciated that just lets me know if you guys are actually enjoying these kind of tech review and gadgets episodes um if you guys want to follow us on our various social media platforms our social media accounts are down below in the description you guys can follow us to stay connected and also have a quicker way to reach out to us if you're a business owner or a company owner interested in working with us our business inquiries email is crew elite yt at outlook.com and that's where you guys can actually send me your messages and we we could potentially work together on a future product review in the future but i really do enjoy this um lc350 not 350 lc550 digital projector from the company eight man um but i really do think that this projector is really ideal for those who just want to have a projector you know this is like uh i think 120 to 130 dollars depending on where you live so it's not really you know that expensive well anyway let's actually wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this three-row test that i took with this lc 550 eight man digital projector and if you guys did i hope i would see you guys with the next tech review that comes out and if i don't hopefully you guys will you know come back later on in the future i don't know i'm just saying but if you guys did enjoy you know just do all those things that i asked Oleo, and i hope to really see you guys on the next one but anyways have a good rest of your day crew elite signing out and i'll see you guys all on the next one bye bye <laughs>